the channel. I've got the Triumph Flux in here, as you can see. I put on some miles, and I did notice that the radiator up front needs a protection from the stones and uh, gravel or whatever might come up from the tire. So I purchased a radiator protector and I intend on installing it here. I'll show you how quick and easy it is to go on and it really makes a big difference. It does um, prevent the radiator from being, all, all the little fins from being uh, dented and, and possibly damaged to the point where it might leak. You don't want to do that. It's an expensive item. So the um, radiator cover or radiator protector cover is, uh, is, uh, is a must, especially with such a short front fender. So uh, again, uh, we'll get to it and uh, put it on and it'll be protected. And then you'll see how you can do it on your motorcycle also. I've got some other bonus items in here also. Um, I thought it would be wise to put a engine protector on this also down here. Uh, I have it on my Triumph Bonneville and I think it's really useful. It keeps uh, any road debris from hitting the exhaust system in the lower frame area. Uh, so it, it, it's a good idea to put one on. And uh, I also bought some rubber tank pads to go here. And this is what they look like right here. Look at that. Okay, that's for the, uh, the right side. And this is the left. They're going to go on just like that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I realize that this tank is so narrow that uh, you need a little bit of uh, extra padding there to grip it with your knees and your inner legs. You got this um, screen protector. It's a very lightweight piece of aluminum painted uh, with powder black matte finish. It's from Evo Tech Performance. <clears throat> You can find them uh, on the internet. Uh, I'll leave a link down below where I got my, this one. It's not very expensive. A lot cheaper than buying a new radiator. So that'll go on simply by removing the, uh, the screws that are on, on the radiator over here. And we'll do that in just a second. And this is the other item. This is a molded plastic. Um, so the outer portion of where the frame comes isn't so important, but the middle portion is. And this goes together on here and then bolts up underneath uh, with nuts. And the hard uh, tempered aluminum is right in the center where, you, where the tire would throw up stones or, or debris. And uh, I think it's a good unit. I'm gonna put it on and see how it goes. So we'll also uh, be able to see how that's assembled also. So they give you some uh, hardware to go with the uh, engine protector. Okay, so there's the product. Now we're gonna put it on the motorcycle. All right, we're gonna use a, uh, a six millimeter X wrench. We'll get, we got to get in uh, through the front over here, front of the radiator, to get at the, the top one. There we go. Good to have a long reach one also. Get right. And loosen up the bottom one here. Now 
That one's a little easier to get to. Okay, we got the screws out. EvoTech goes on the top. They do have um, radiator uh, protections that have the uh, English signature on there. Uh, I, don't know, I, I just opted to have the plain one. to get in here but it's doable get the front one stuck the top one started here you to make sure you don't not cross thread these screws put them in properly If you start them, you know, with your fingers first, you'll know uh, whether or not the, you can feel it, if it's going to be cross-threaded. There's the first one tightened. Get that tight. Radiator protector installed. Uh, that didn't take too long. And uh, it'll make a big difference in protecting the, uh, the radiator. So I got a few more things to do on the uh, engine protector. And we'll, uh, we'll show you how that goes on in a minute. Well, this is another EvoTech product. Evil Tech Performance, and I showed you in the beginning there. The, the middle part is is a, a very strong aluminum, and the outer part part is a, a very tough piece of plastic, and uh, lightweight, and protecting your engine underneath here from any road debris. You need a number eight after you put your uh, your nuts on here. Tighten them up. They're uh, locking nuts, so you don't need to put any Loctite on them. They have special locking grooves on them, so that's going to stay there good and tight. And then there's a bracket that goes over here on the inside. There we go. Oh, well, there it is, all assembled. Now it's going to go right underneath, right underneath I'll show you where the little clips go. You can see right there, those little spring clips go on the frame mounts. And the other um, bracket gets put right up on that bracket right in there. And they gave they gave a, a longer bolt to go in there to accommodate the uh, the bracket right there. So I'm going to put that up in and there. You can see there's the bracket. I had to take the screws off of the original plate, and uh, I'll be able to screw them in. There's no way to tighten the bracket up uh, when the plate is on, so. Um, that's how it fastens up onto the radiator mount behind um, the radiator itself. And that's going to protect all of that area down in there from stones and debris flying up from the, uh, from the wheel. So 
rest but should be pretty simple They gave you a couple of uh, special washes here to go underneath the uh, underneath the plate. So you put them on first, and then put your screw up in there instead of just putting a screw straight into the plastic. So and then it threads up onto those little clips I showed you that are on the frame of the bike. And we'll get them started. And we'll tighten those, those up. Number 2.5 millimeter. Yeah, nice and tight. Look at that, huh? No more worries when you go down roads that have gravel or small pieces of stone on it. All protected. Do that with a brand new bike and you'll have a nice finish underneath there when you go to trade it in.
Well, if you plan on putting the uh, tank pads on, if you get them from uh, where I got them on Amazon, uh, they have sticky pads that have to be stuck to the pads themselves and then stuck to the tank. And I think the best way to do that is on a bench and then get it perfectly fitted to the uh, pad and then bend up the bottom and use a tape measure to measure up and put it exactly the same on each side and uh, you'll see the finished product. Now right, we'll put the other one on now. We're going to measure back. Let's see, one and a half inches. So one and a half inches. I think that's about it right there. Let me sit on the bike. Looking from down, looking down from above, it looks like the pads are in the right place. Yep. Okay. Peel off the rest of the pad. This adhesive, uh, if it's anything like the 3M stuff, it's uh, over time it sticks even more. So there it goes. Well, that completes this install video for the, the tank uh, pads over here radiator protector and the engine guard down underneath all pretty good things to have on a brand new motorcycle um, I'll be doing some riding on the bike and more videos of and comments about my uh, impressions so be sure to subscribe hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and come on along for the next one. Thanks for watching.